Hi guys, my name is Anne. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make some paper circuits and some light up cards. So for these activities, we're going to need some scissors, paper, a small battery, some LEDs, probably just one, but I have multiple, um, markers, some copper tape, some regular tape, and the papers. Alright, let's get started. So our first step to making a paper circuit is to first figure out how to light up the LED. So, as hopefully you guys can tell, the LED has a long leg and a short leg. So, the long leg is positive and the short leg is negative. And why that is important is because on the battery, we have a positive side. I hope you guys can see it. It says positive, it's a little plus. And then the other side is negative. So when connecting the LED to the battery, we want one of the legs to be on the positive side and one of the legs to be on the negative side. And then that way it lights up. Unfortunately, if we flip it and do the opposite way around, it won't work. So it matters which side is which, All right? Now we can go ahead and start with the paper circuit. So what we have is some copper tape. So what's important to note about the copper tape is that one side conducts electricity and then the other side, when you peel the white part back, is sticky. So you can tape it on paper. Now the sticky side does not conduct electricity very well. When making a paper circuit, we're going to just do a box. So at one side, we're going to have the LED. And we want to remember which side is negative and which side is positive. So we're going to stretch out the LED, but first we want to recognize this is the longer side. So this is the positive side. And this is the shorter side. So that's negative. So I'm going to just write that on the paper. So we're going to have positive over here and negative over here. So we can keep track. Now, we're going to start taping it on the paper. So I'm going to start with just one side. Tape it down like that. And then we want to curve it up because I want to make a box. Now we can't just break it off and tape it again. Because if we break it off and tape the tape down, the sticky side down on this side, then it won't be able to conduct electricity as well. So what we want to do is we're going to fold it. First, we're going to fold it back towards us. And then we're going to fold it away from us. So then we're going to fold it down that way. And since we never broke the tape, we didn't make any breaks, it's going to be able to conduct all the electricity through. We're going to do this again. So we're going to fold it away from where we want to go. And then we're going to fold it towards where we want to go. I'm going to make a little rip here, and we're going to fold it towards where we want to go. All right. And then we can make a little break. So now we have one side of our circuit. Now, keep in mind that this has no breaks in it. It just has a break here and here. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to tape down this little thing this side, we're going to tape it down so that this leg is attached to the copper tape. So I have some tape here. I'm just going to tape it down. And we have to make sure that it's touching the copper so that way it can really conduct. All right. Now we're going to do it for the negative side. Now this side we're going to have is going to be a little more tricky because when we put the battery down, since this is the positive side, we're going to leave the battery flat like that. And then for the negative side, we need to leave extra copper tape so that the copper tape can touch the negative side of the battery, all right? So we'll go ahead and start with up here. And I'm just going to break off a piece to make this a bit easier. I'm going to put 
one side under the wire, the little leg. And then again, we have this going on and we want to turn it to go this way. So we're going to fold away from where we want to go and then back towards us. So back this way. So like that. And then we're going to go all the way down here. I'm, I'm going to go a little past the battery without taping down and make a little break right there. So as you can see, the battery is going to be here. And so I'm going to go ahead and make it all the way go down to, to the battery. And then I'm going to fold the copper side down. All right, so now we have, this side isn't sticky, so this is the copper. And then so hopefully, when we put this on, it's going to light up. So what we did here is we made a little switch. So hopefully you guys can see. So the, the battery is laying flat, the positive side is on this side, which connects to the positive side of the battery. We're going to go ahead and tape down the negative side, just to make sure it stays in place. Then we have the negative side coming all the way around and connecting to the negative part of the battery when we put that down. And we have a little switch. And there you guys go. You have a cop it. Uh, you guys have a paper circuit. So now that we have our circuit, I'm going to show you guys how to turn it into a pretty quick and easy card. So we have stuff the circuit that works. We can go ahead and remove the tape. And then we're going to go ahead and put the legs back together. We're going to flip the paper over, but first we're going to put your finger right where the LED goes. And then go ahead and flip it over and poke a hole right where your finger is. So right there like that. As you can see, when you flip it back over, you can attach you can attach your LED legs to the copper tape. All right? So, before doing that though, we have our little hole in this side and we can draw a picture around it, all right? So I made a little card that says, get well soon. What we're going to do is stick this through the little hole that we made. So it's going to be the center of my flower. Flip this over and go ahead and connect it to the copper tape. All right, so we're going to tape those down and go ahead and put the battery back on there. We can see that it's lighting up already. And we're going to go ahead and just tape that battery on. All right, and then you have your very own light up card. And then you can just take the battery in and out. And also, if you want this card to not show the back, all you have to do is grab another piece of paper and then just tape the edges, and you won't be able to tell. But I suggest not taping it down so you can take out the battery when you're done with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.